Now, while there's been a significant shift towards digital banking, there are still many customers out there who still don't feel comfortable enough with the technology to forgo the regular face-to-face -face situation. My grandmother is definitely one of those. And this is why First National Bank developed .FNB branches like this one, where state-of-the-art technology is available for customers to not only educate themselves, but also save time and effort. And here to tell us more is the head of .FNB, Kim Gibson von der Welt. Kim, welcome. Thank you. Now, ironically, this was actually the first store you opened in April of 2012. What's been the traction and the uptake and the support by FNB and non-FNB customers alike? Well, we've had wonderful support. In fact, it's been embraced by the public. Um, and we wondered, you know, what the re reaction would be to open a cashless and paperless uh, bank. And it's been marvelous. And we spend a lot of time in educating our customers, you know, and on how to move over to digital platforms and make it easier and more convenient for them to bank. Now, technology and innovation is something that you're known for. They both go hand in hand. FNB was named the most innovative bank globally in 2012. How do you keep the edge above your competitors? How do you make technology work for you and for your customers? Well, I think as a rule of thumb, uh, we make sure that technology has a use and a purpose. So it's not just all out there and radical, um, but it doesn't actually uh, serve a purpose to the customer. So if they come into a store like .fnb, they can interact with the Microsoft service, um, and we've got a whole lot of technology in store that actually works for them. So when they go up to the Microsoft Surface, we've got a savings calculator on the Surface and the savings calculator can actually, uh, we go through the process, we show them how much they need to save and put away. And I think that's a big problem in South Africa. Not a lot of people save and we all really battle to save. And so how do we start small and teach people how to save? So that's one of the small things that we do on the Microsoft Surface. So we really believe in making technology and the use of it um, quite practical. Talking about saving, 13 million South Africans are unbanked, so they're probably hiding their cash under their mattresses. They might not have access to banks, but the majority of South Africans have access to a cell phone. How do you, can you utilize this potentially to get the unbanked banked? Yeah. So .fnb is big in uh, cell phone banking. So we have, uh, all of our consultants are trained in cell phone banking and we make sure that when somebody comes in, we not only teach them about online banking, but we show them how to use cell phone banking. And we find that a lot of people that tr traditionally wouldn't come into a bank come into a .fnb just because it's less intimidating, less invasive. You're not sitting on the opposite side of a banker waiting for an outcome and credit, uh, but you're actually sitting next to a banker and they are openly teaching you about, uh, you know, credit or banking and just yeah, everyday transactions, how to use e-wallet which is our product for cell phone banking and I think that makes a difference. Now a lot of the unbanked sit in rural areas, at the moment .fnb is in a lot of urban nodes, are there any plans to roll, potentially roll this out into rural areas as well? I think we are looking for sites all over the country. Um, we are focusing on mall environments at this point in time. More your but there's a mall everywhere these days. Uh, indeed, and I think that uh, is a huge scope for us to, to roll out .fnb wherever we can. Um, and those are the plans. What are the immediate future plans? Where do you see .fnb going in the next five years? So we see .fnb as a complement to, to our traditional branch. We don't see it as a replacement um, because, you know, the traditional branch has a place. No, I mean, my grandmother is, <coughs> I mean, at 70, almost 80, she's not going to get this. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a lot of those kind of customers too. Um, but in the next five years, we see a lot more of .fnb. We see a lot more of our customer base migrating to digital e-channels, as we'd like to call them. And we really want to use this as a space to educate. We understand that that's the place in the market right now in South Africa is a space for a lot of education before people move onto the digital platform and uh, there's really a lot of space for .fnb to roll out in many different spots. One last question, which technology are you most excited about? We've, we've seen the explosion in mobile banking, people are taking up the tablet, is there anything else in the pipeline that could be of interest? Well I think wearables are big. Um, the Google Glasses and such? Yes and I've just come back from a conference in Amsterdam where they spoke about creating banking apps for wearables. Uh, Google Glass and a wearer, obviously you're the watch um, and using the watch to sort of watch uh, the stocks and uh, so it's all very exciting um, and I think that's the next big trend. Oh, fantastic. Now Kim Gibson from the Vault, thank you very much. It's a pleasure.
Now, SnapScan is a locally developed app that allows banking customers to make cashless and cardless payments both in-store and online. Through a combination of a QR code and a secure PIN number, any customer of South Africa's major banks can make payments through their smartphones. And this could be a safe and secure payment alternative for small businesses.